All right, hello everyone. So I'm playing around with stuff and I just wanted to share this real quick. All right, so let's look at the oscilloscope. So we clearly have some sort of resonance. We have 136 kilohertz and we're picking up about half a volt, positive, negative for the amplitude of like one volt, one volt of strength. So what that is actually picking up is the jar here. There's the probe, you can see right there. And the only thing we have connected to it is our quote unquote rod down the center, which if I just pick this up a little bit, is it's a Tesla coil, but you can see there, it's a, it's wrapped in neoprene, or just like a type of rubber, but it's a, just a smaller Tesla coil. Um, it's about 40 millimeters in diameter. I'm just try to readjust that. So here's the actual roll of neoprene. So I just wrapped that around, and what it did was just add capacitance. And, okay, we're back. Um, and in, increase the field actually uh, but yeah so that's just this wire goes to that coil down the center here's the other wire for tesla coil in stage one uh, connection two and three so i'm actually running three full stacks um, it doesn't actually do much more in this mode anyways but with two I was running at 120 kilohertz. Uh, the thing about this, the reason why I'm resonating a little higher, is I'm I'm pushing no current. This is just all static, and I'm achieving resonance. It's a very weak resonance, but it's resonance. I just I just thought this is an odd effect. Unless someone that's watching this knows more than I do, please enlighten me. But with no connection, no current, and I can even hook it up with, I can hook my multimeter up to it and show you that um, this is a, a little capacitor bank that I do have in the circuit right now. But let's see, let's just go very fine. this back up in here try and do this with while holding the phone okay so we got negative on the right positive on the left so no current whatsoever 12 volts, pure static, no current. Okay. Little well, capacitor bank. I've been experimenting with electrolyte capacitors, and obviously there's um, that, I don't know the term, normal capacitors, non electrical, <laughs> non electrolytic capacitors. Um, and then there's my Slayer Exciter circuit. So it's just a PNP circuit. All it's doing is. Uh, positives going into the cap bank, it's just running in parallel with the Slayer Exciter circuit. So then goes out. I do have two of them here, as you can clearly see. I'm only using one of the bases. Um, so what the other one does is actually amplify the signal. I believe that means it's like running in saturation mode, um, but it works really nice with two of them there. One amplifies the other and you get a nice field. Um, and it can handle a more stress. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to do a quick video on this because I thought this was pretty interesting. And I'm trying to increase that to see if we can maintain, like I've seen some other videos, maintain zero watt current consumption, but have a strong enough static field resonating still to do things like light up this fluorescent bulb, which 
is I guess so far the most impressive thing that we can really only do. Um, and not super useful yet. Uh, I do have a battery, car battery here. It's not connected. That's just an extra experiment. Um, this is separate. There's my wire going down to the car battery just to show you that there's nothing there. Another connection. I've been experimenting with using that as my source, but then also trying to recharge it. Um, that's been a dud so far. Been trying, I've seen some videos use an extra inductor toroid somewhere in the beginning of the circuit. Um, mainly the guy, the channel, what if I do this dot dot dot, I think is the channel name. Thought he was pretty interesting. Um, but I, I have had this where it was actually pushing current um, and creating a good field where I could hook up this diode and run this PC fan. I've also been able to run this PC fan. Once I got this to run, it runs slowly, but it runs continuously. Uh, you just have to kind of like kickstart it and then it keeps going, maintains its, its speed. Um, so I could have all this, this rectifier hooked up. So top down to the, my just jar of water and dirt, um, kind of like an earth battery. That's why I have the copper and the aluminum to create the different voltage differential. Um, and then it, so I run that wire down to the aluminum rod and then I connect the copper and the aluminum to the rectifier so let's just say copper would go here or no these wires go in so like copper connects here or the aluminum or vice versa doesn't matter and then i take these put it into this conf um, so connect that and connect this runs over to here and it would run the fan it even run this big guy and this guy takes 12 volt, 330 milliamps. And I was lighting up a fluorescent bulb and that fan with uh, this, when this was only reading about 400 milliamps. Um, although in my experimentation, I was messing around with stuff and kind of uh, causing electrical shorts right here with some probes and sparking stuff out. And I think I just demagnetized the magnet that's in here. So this guy doesn't run anymore. That one I just absolutely fried, but um, this one doesn't want to run anymore. I think of because of that. Um, this guy still runs though. This is just a little fan from uh, a Raspberry Pi. So yeah, guys, if you're anyone's watching this and Please feel free to comment. I I really like uh, poking poking people's brains and just getting ideas and uh, brainstorming with different things to try. Um, I think my focus right now is more on the energy aspect and to try and make it useful out of no just pure static. Kind of like the zero point energy kind of a thing. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. So, yeah, we'll see if I can increase the static field to actually do something. Oh, so, yeah, it's like it's it's trying to do something more every now and then. This thing just freaking spikes. Yeah, this thing is resonating. Um. Okay, I'm gonna. This wait, I can just I can touch this. You can see that wave. So it's it's doing something for sure. I can touch here. That's just weird. Pure static. So I thought obviously when I disconnect the probe reads nothing in the my earth battery here. So that's all. Thanks for watching, guys. Let me know in the comments what you think. Bye.